Hey RHS, I'm going to share with my TV news. On January 13th, during our third hour, we had an Alice training to prepare our students and staff in case an active shooter comes into our building. Um, actually, our former principal, Tom Kell, uh, was looking for volunteers, and he actually came up to me personally and asked if I would be interested in becoming a certified Alice instructor. How does Alice affect you? You know, I went through the training as a trainer with Mr. Durant, uh, Mr. Weller, and, and obviously uh, uh, 12 or 13 others from the district. And it really changed my mindset on things, you know. Yeah, so the plan is to roll out some of the training stuff, and then the goal kind of long term is uh, we will do scenarios um, where the kids will just continuously practice uh, decision making and what they would do in an Alice uh, scenario. Do you know how often we'll be doing it? Probably once a month. Once we once we do this initial training that's coming up, uh, we're probably looking at like a once a month scenario practice. How has Alice affected you? Um, it's helped me feel more prepared for an active shooter. Not that much. I haven't really had anything happen at the school. What's the most important thing students should take in from the school? The most important thing for students is to, one, always remember Alice is not sequential. It's not something you say, oh, let me do A first, let me do... It is really a decision-making depending on where you're at. How are teachers trained to train other students? Our job is to uh, develop the lessons, to train the staff, and then we meet uh, with staff members to go over how to do those lessons. What was the best thing during Alice training? They all participated. They knew how important it was, you know, when building the barricade. But to see the looks on their faces was my favorite thing. They were looking at me like they knew that this was a matter of, uh, of such importance. And, and that I, it warmed me, I guess, would be the right thing because they all know how serious it is. So just their great questions, you know, there was no goofing around. What's the best thing during Alice Um, Probably stacking the desk. Stacking the chairs. What do you try to focus on during Alice training to help your students? Really, the thing I focus on the most is just making sure that they're calm, but being passionate about it, making them understand that this is so important and, and this is how our history is gone. Alice is here to implement our safety for our school. We will have Alice training periodically throughout the year to make our students and staff feel safer. I'm going to share with YTV News. Back to you. I'm Lyra Vargas with YTV News, and we went around asking RHS, what's your go-to food? What's your go-to food? A nice, fat, juicy steak. <laughs> Probably grapes or <laughs> Probably pizza, also because I work at a pizza place. Spicy David sausage flakes. <laughs> I mean, what isn't? Like, I hit it all up. Chips and salsa, hummus, pasta, pizza, burgers. Mm. Uh, cheeseburgers. Uh, pizza. Yes. <laughs> Chicken tenders. Uh, pizza. Um, a McDonald's happy meal. Tacos. Panda Express. Cereal. Fantastic food, RHS. My go-to food is chicken tenders and french fries. I'm Mariah Vargas with YTV News. Now back to you. Luke, what's your go-to food? Uh, probably pancakes. Uh, you take little almonds, chop them up, put them on the pancakes. I don't use syrup. I only use cranberry juice, and I take sugar, Sprite. Um, like the little gummies that you find in like the little store and then you just sprinkle them on and then you eat them. Hey Good. RHS, this is Sydney Breton with YTV News. Are you switching to WAVE next semester? Are you going on WAVE next semester? No. No. What are you gaining by staying in school? Um, I kind of just want a normal senior year. Experience? Like, you only got four years in high school. What are you giving up by not going on WAVE next semester? Um, risking getting sick, I guess. Time, probably money. Too because I could be working. Are you going on wave next semester? Yes, I am. Yes. What are you gaining by going on wave next semester? Um, I get to stay home and like do my work at my own time. I'm just like antisocial now, so I don't really like being here. What are you giving up going on wave your senior year? Um, I won't be able to see my friends as much and some of the teachers. I guess being around people. I believe and I think most people would agree with me that um, students are best served being in classrooms with our teachers. So I think that's the best place for a student to be when it comes to learning. To me the thing they're gaining is I guess you know if you're if you have some major concerns about COVID you you know you remove yourself from being in a building with a lot of people. Um, I think there's more being given up. Um, anything that goes on in the, during the school day from 8 to 251. 
uh, they'll be at home and, and we'll be here engaged in those activities. And sometimes those aren't big activities, but those are daily things. Being in the classroom with our teachers is the best place for learning to take place. Uh, we put students in the position to be most successful. I think the, 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 the one and, and biggest benefit of WAVE um, is for those families that have some concerns over COVID and having their students here. Thank you, Mr. Reynolds and the seniors for those great responses. This is Sydney Britton with YTV News. Now back to you.